Hello, and welcome Come to Let's Play Port Royale 3 with me, Antolian. And as you can see, our trade route just completed its first route and it lost money. Mainly because I probably didn't have any money for it to really sell goods, so we'll leave that up while I sell the goods in Santiago. Okay, so now that it actually has money, it can buy goods, which of course, you gotta spend money to make money in this game. But, uh, bought a new ship pretty early because I like having as many trade routes as possible. We got that. Hemp's used for making ropes, among other stuff. Uh, it is consumed by the populace, I think, but they don't really model it as a drug consumption. So if we head down this way. You can see Port Royal, the English Viceroy, um, which is the namesake of this game. Really huge. Uh, I think it was huge. I don't know if it was huge in 1570, but it is very important to this game, of course. And it is the English Viceroy. Uh, the towns will change depending on like the owners of the towns will change depending on when you start the game and in this one it is the English it is usually the Spanish I think but the English are the strongest of the factions in this time and they're taken out with the second strongest Spain while we're going up against the second strong the the second weakest Holland Holland um, you can buy like letters of mark and stuff, but I'm not a high enough rank to do that. You have to increase your rank. Which is pretty easy, you just play the game. With higher ranks, you can start like building actual businesses and towns. Which we will explore, and you can even become the... I would say mayor, but it's not really. The, um... Like, I think you're called the administrator. You're appointed by the by the governor or the viceroy so we're just going to go around the island of Hispaniola you can see all these different things popping up the French treasure fleet is sailing from town to town collecting goods for export and dropping off new sailors which pretty much means the Spanish treasure fleet is going to be in New Orleans Ex uh, that's two things it's actually going to be in New Orleans Picking up all those treasurable goods while we're just going around selling stuff and buying stuff. Uh, there will be pirates later. They're not existent right now. But they will hunt you and they will... You can like try to kill them. You could be a pirate if you really wanted to be. Uh, in fact, I have the expansion for the game that would allow me to be a pirate. But I have not played it yet because I'm like more focusing on the economic right now. But maybe I will fight. I will definitely fight some things. And it has combat in it. I wouldn't say it's amazing combat. Oh, as you can see, here's the f Spanish treasure fleet. All the treasure fleets. And here's the English one. All the treasure fleets kind of come in this way and head to their viceroys. And then they'll leave out this way which deals with the trade wind and stuff. But as you can see, my wealth has been going up. No businesses, no houses. Uh, my cannons have been going up. My vessels, of course, have been going up. And I have no daily production. But my stowage has also gone up. You can see that the important things to consider are wealth, storage, stowage, and employees. I never really have a problem with getting more employees. It's usually just stowage and... Uh, we usually wealth, but also sometimes you got stowage problem. I have to buy another ship. I don't want to get rid of that. Uh, okay. Buy some more rum. Your crew doesn't really need anything. Like, they don't need rum or anything like that. But rum is a very good money maker. So I hit 
Saint Tom. And if I remember correctly, this will be the last of the of the tobacco ports. It won't be the last of the room, though. And we'll head down the Antilles. The lesser Antilles. And into St. Martin. Where we will sell and buy, sell and buy. As you make more money, you'll end up buying more ships who can you who can run trade routes and such. As you can see, tobacco is in demand, so I could sell tobacco for a nice price. But as I said, I like keeping these trade goods for the French. And I will just buy as much of them as possible. We can go into St. Kitts and we can see what St. Kitts looks like. As you can see, completely different and it actually does look a lot like an island. Though, yeah, so. You can do all the stuff here that you could. Um, generally, you won't be able to buy ships and stuff from these types of places. Um, if all, just because apparently it really seems like only viceroys stock ships. Or at least big towns. I'm not entirely certain. You can see metal and corn. Pretty much all these islands produce fruit. So, I mean, we won't really be able to sell any fruit while we're in the islands. Uh, at this point in time, we can look at our trade route and see that it's still not making any money. And I think that's because the only thing it's been carrying is four goods. So I think we just have to let that let us have more money, and it will be able to sell, to make some money. It needs m us to actually have money in order for it to be able to buy goods. Because it just takes it directly from there. And so I'll leave it a stack of money. And you can see our wealth is still going up. So we're doing something, right? And as you can see, like pretty much every island produces to, uh, the fruits. They also produce a ton of cocoa. And these more than enough for their own good. So we'll be able to sell all that bread back for a nice profit. And also there. Buy some more cocoa. As you can see, we're getting kind of close to filling up on it. But we will buy hemp and wheat. Then we will head to Barbados. Well, we'll be able to sell the wheat and the hemp in order to get one more cocoa, and some cloth, and some rope. Which we'll then head into St. Lucia. Cloth. St. Lucia doesn't make any fruit, so we can sell all that fruit. But all the cocoa and more rope and we're heading into Granada these uh, red sails are military ships while the white sails are trading ships uh, if I were to attack any of them I would be a pirate and I don't want to really be a pirate so I won't attack any of them you can see we have no money, so we'll just head down into Port of Spain. 
as you can tell, we need to actually uh, discover a lot of these towns. You know a certain amount already, but you actually have to discover a good deal of them. Uh, I think we have enough goods. We're going to head back to New Orleans. You can see it's going to take us seven days. But you can see that it made some good profit. And it's still not heading back with anything, but it did make profit. And you can see here, we got the panda coming back. And four. And while we're coming back, of course, we're discovering islands. Or just discovering cities. A convoy is in trouble. And this made no money anymore. Again. Uh, you have to pay upkeep cost on your sips and such. But we will be able to make a lot of money off of these. You can see now we have 27,000 and we'll continue going around. And selling the goods. And you can see we went from having no money to having about 40,000. And that's it. So hopefully this is actually carrying goods around now. You can see we only need 26,000 more. I'm going to head back into New Orleans. Actually, I want to discover... Um, you can see that we're at peace now. You're going to discover Cancun and then head back into New Orleans. While we're doing that, I want to see the koala has no goods still. And they will... No, it didn't pick up anything. Let me make sure just everything's working okay. Uh, 120. So yeah, I didn't go through and mark these. That's probably the main reason. And then we want to make sure that when we're selling... It's 120 plus one. You did it in New Orleans. Okay, so that should help a lot. That means that they should actually buy stuff. In New Orleans. As we wait for it to load, we will buy a new ship. We will buy the sloop because that's the only thing we can get. And with this sloop, we will form the convoy. I like the eel better. And we will get people on. But we actually, I don't think, thinking back, we don't really need these unless we're invading land. So we won't go with that. But we will set up a new trading route. A hurricane is raging through the Caribbean. Ships right here. caught in a hurricane suffer more damage than their normal wear and tear. They go from Tampa, Florida Keys, Havana, Nova de Dios, Cancun, and Sisal. We'll go back. And we'll do the same thing that we did last time. Except... We will get dies this time. This is why I chose Tampa, by the way. It's the closest to everything else, so it's pretty central. So in Tampa, we got wood, wheat, metal, dyes, close. So we will sell it. You can see that it's actually saved everything. Wood, wheat. And metal. They already sell dyes. They won't get clothes. And we'll just do that again. And this place doesn't produce dyes. They do produce clothes though. And wood. Wood, but they don't produce metal. And dyes and clothes. And there, and there. 
Oh. And ties. And gloves. And then in the Florida Keys. Bricks, fruit, corn, tools, dies. Bricks, fruit, corn, tools, dies. In there, there. And then a boom. Boom, boom, boom. And... Okay. And then Havana. You can see that we picked up dice twice because all these places are going to want them. And brick and wheat is also pretty popular. Or needed. And they of course have tobacco and rum. So we're going to sell rum, cotton, I do believe it was bricks, and wheat. So we already got all those. So cotton, tobacco, rum. Which is nice because we just put it here. Tobacco and rum. And cotton. And then back to Havana. And then number the DS. We'll go wood, hemp, cloth. Tobacco, clothes. Wood, hemp, cloth, tobacco, clothes. Wood is fine, hemp, cloth. And of course, tobacco and clothes are already being sold. Hemp, cloth. Hemp, hemp, cloth. Hip cloth and hip. Uh, they're already selling cloth for some reason. Okay, and then Cancun. So, yeah, this takes a while, but I don't really mind it. Corn, sugar, metal, coffee, meat. So, corn, sugar, metal. Corn, sugar, oh, coffee, coffee, meat, um, sugar, sugar, coffee, meat, meat, coffee, sugar. You can see time's still running. And... Okay, we already did Cancun. Or... Yeah. So, Cicel is the last one, I think. Yep. Wheat, already have. Metal, cotton, already mocked it there. there. So you can see we've already done it for the rest of those. So then we will activate the route. And it will head to Tampa, and then we'll take this route. This is like the only route that has three trade routes that's pretty profitable. Um, I guess if you did, there's Charleston up here too, like Fort Caroline, St. Augustine, Grand Bahamas to Havana, you can get like the to you can get the tobacco and dyes. But as of right now, we need to organize that, and you can see we got it. Oh. Uh, and the koala just made it in, and I want to do a quick thing here. I want to deactivate. You can see they made a lot of money last year. But we're going to equip them with sailors. And then activate the route. So we now only need 22,000. So we will do that trade route again, where we will buy as much dye as possible. And make our way. Let's go the southern route. So we're gonna go <coughs> down. Hopefully, miss this hurricane and get some more coca and bring it back. And I will see you guys.
next time.